Hi there. I am Abhay Kadia, your instructor for the course. In this video, we will learn how to create butterfly chart in Excel. This chart is also known as pyramid chart or tornado chart and so on. This chart is mostly presented where you have two divisions or categories with few common parameters. Instead of showing simple vertical or horizontal bar charts side by side, this chart shows diverging horizontal bar charts from the center. There are two approaches to create this chart inside Excel. First one is using data bars from conditional formatting, which we will be seeing in this video. And another one is tweaking the inbuilt horizontal bar chart of Excel. So let us get started in Excel and see how we can create this chart. So here is our sample data set for men and women population across various age buckets. Here men and women are two categories with common age buckets. Hence the individual bars will be for age buckets and left or right side can be assigned to men or women as required. So let us get started. So first step before creating this chart is to make sure that the data set is in proper sequential order. So it can be ascending or descending the way you want it. So now let me just quickly press equal to and then select this age bracket. So I will just copy this across the rows so that it gets split same way. So on the left side, we want to keep women as a population. So let me copy this. Then I will be selecting men here. And let me copy this as well. So now here we can see that we have women related population and this will be men related. And this is our age brackets. So let me just quickly format this. Let me decrease oh, the font size. So this is fine. So now we will be quickly creating this visuals using data bars from conditional formatting. So I have selected women. Then I will have to go to data bars, select data bars, and then I can click on more rules. Now I want to show only the data bars and not the number. So I will simply select show bar only. Then minimum value, I will keep it zero and maximum value. I will have to put it over here or I can also select a particular cell. So for the time being, I will be typing this 55 million here. So 55 million I have added so I can change the color. Let us say pink and then the bar direction will be right to left. So immediately you can see our bar starts from the right instead of left. So let us click OK and here you can see our bar chart is being displayed. Same way we will do it for men. But for the time being, I will be now putting some value here, which we have done for maximum value, which is 55 million. So now let me quickly refer that I can go to manage rules, select this and then click edit. And now I can select this value and let us click OK. Let us quickly say apply. So that this highest value will be common across men and women. So let me now select this data, go to data bar, more rules, show bar number minimum will be zero maximum i can select now this h2 as a cell then this color i can change it and context left to right is fine with me let us click ok so here quickly you can see this bar are getting displayed so let me quickly resize the column width for both of them so that it looks consistent now column just after this i will be just putting it as a four column width, this will be four. Now let me quickly format this data by dividing by 10 raised to six. So dividing by 1 million, I will just comma and I will just copy this values over here. So this will be our data labels, which we want to put it over here. So let me quickly format this numbers not required. So let me just resize the height of rows also to make it 20 so that it looks proper. Now this number I can put it like this alignment. Same way I will do it for men's as well. 
so let me quickly select this data divided by 10 raised to 6 bracket close control enter let us quickly format this also as a number no decimal places let us click ok let us quickly format this also in alignment now let us copy this and then select this cell go to paste and then click on the last option which is called as linked picture so here you can see these numbers are getting displayed same way i will do it for this copy then select over here go to paste and link picture so now i can move this link picture to properly align it over here so this looks proper to me now i can change the font color instead of black i can select them and click white so that it gets hidden however since this text is above the colored bars it is showing properly same way i will do it over here and this looks proper to me i can align it the way i want it so women can be right aligned men is already this aligned so let us quickly change the color make it bold for women also let us change the color and make it bold now at the top we can give the chart title let me first merge this population distribution numbers in millions this is in millions and now let me quickly decrease the font size for this so i can make it 8 so this is fine so let us change the font color so this one can be a bold population distribution and this can have a little different color so this looks proper to me so this is done now let us quickly add borders to this so let me quickly select this one then i will select this and quickly add the horizontal lines so this way it looks proper here also we can quickly add so this looks proper to me now when you are going to put this chart somewhere else you can't like just copy this formula again and again so again we will have to use the trick which we have done for link chart so let us quickly copy it and then anywhere in this excel sheet i can put link picture so whenever there is a change here it will automatically gets displayed here as well so for an example let us say if i change a number here so immediately human is displayed and here also the numbers will get updated so this way you can use your link picture and create this butterfly chart in excel using data bars so that's it like from my side guys for this video in next video we will be seeing second approach of creating this butterfly chart using horizontal bar charts so see you guys in next video